today we're at the Urban Flea. This is downtown Gang. Look at all the stores. They're selling very, very pretty and unique stuff. And what makes it so special here today? It's because of those tiny houses. Can you see it over there? And now we're gonna go and look at those houses. Come follow me. So on the left we have the beautiful baby blue. On the right we have the fun and exciting Perry Dog House. So right now we're gonna first look at the Perry Dog House. Switches on the for the lights. Can we try it? Yeah, sure. Ooh, I want something like that in my house. <laughs> yeah, they're fun. Yeah. And then we've got we took the exotic woods that she gave us. We did all these uh, cut them, build them down. They were random sizes and thicknesses, and so we build them all down and did these mosaics uh, for her. The stairs here. She wanted stairs going up. Uh, we did each step is a different exotic wood on the front and on the and on the tread and the step. And these sticks. Yeah, she provided us some with some of these twisted sticks. Um, I don't even know what you call them, but they're uh, but they're really cool looking. We did a seat, took a cedar post, uh, cleaned all the bark off of it, made a nice handrail out of it. What about this sliding door? So this is a bar door, and our carpenter made that for us. Uh, to, and, you know, match the mosaic that we did on the wall. Just did it vertically, give it a little bit of contrast on there. And then we've got the bridge goes under the stairs. We got storage underneath the stairs. Got our sink that she that she wanted. The cabinet down below, single burner cooktop. So she didn't want a lot of kitchen space, but um, what was really important to her was the bathroom. So let's go go take a look this at the bathroom. This is my favorite part. <laughs> so the bathroom. She actually wanted a clawfoot tub, so this is the first time we've ever done a clawfoot tub in the in a tiny house, but it worked out pretty good. Yeah. It, it, it fit in the space. We actually moved it in here before we put the walls up because we weren't going to be able oh, yeah. to get it in before after the walls were up. Because we were building of, around this we, we were building the, we had it on those little furniture movers, uh -huh. so we could slide it out of the way and back back into place as we were building it. And so. Um, she had a nice custom toilet, one piece sink. toilet. So the sink. sink, so the sink is really special. Uh, the all the piece, all the parts for this cabinet were milled from a cedar log, and there's plywood here. But the all the framing pieces were all from a cedar log. We've got uh, deer antler handle pull there, <laughs> and then the bowl. This was a this was a cedar slab, and then the bowl is made from teak. From teak, uh, so it's a it's actual wood sink with a little waterfall uh, faucet, which is really, I love it. I love the way it turned out. Everybody seems to, every <laughs> everybody seems to love the, yeah, love the sink I love there. This. And this is the bedroom? This is the bedroom here, and bedroom slash uh, office area. She, oh, we've got a, a desk? this is a desk, it drops down. So it does, you can actually lower this oh. desk here. So it's got little buttons here, and this will actually drop down out of ah. the way. But, but even when, and then we've got the Murphy bed here. So you, you put the legs down. I didn't even notice the legs. Yeah. Uh, and then it just drops down here. Stand up over here. Mm -hmm. And it drops down like that. We don't have a mattress on it yet. Mm -hmm. but you can fit a full size mattress on that Murphy bed. And then again, we did the mosaic on this one to continue that, yeah. that look throughout the house. And then also a closet here, which is important because tiny houses need stores. So we have a closet with hanging clothes and shelves down below to to store other clothes. Yeah, I love this house. 
Peter, so how much is this house? So this house with all the custom woodwork, the cloth foot tub, the arch top windows, um, a custom build like this it runs about $75,000. The base price on the model this size though is $52,500. Um, that's move-in ready, has everything you need, a whole kitchen, full bath, um, and, and sleeping area. So the, you know, the, there, there can be a pretty wide range of prices on tiny houses, depending on the size and level of, of customization. No, this so it's way cheaper than buying a like, normal house. Right. Yeah. yeah. So it's much more affordable, and you can pay them off much quicker. Some yeah. people, like the lady who bought this house, was paid for it with um, the money that she had saved over the years. Oh, so. Nice. Yeah. No mortgage payment. Right. She has no yeah. mortgage payment. Uh -huh. so. And she just retired, so she's 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 happy as a queen. Yeah. With her dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, so, uh, can we buy? Like, if I want to customize. Yeah, absolutely. So what she did, she brought us a bunch of different building materials and said, "This is these are my needs for my house, uh, and this is what I've got. This is what I've been collecting over the years. Can you put it together? Can you put something together for it?" So we totally can, did a custom build for her to the design specifically around all her materials. So we can even do that level of customization. Or if you've seen, if you have a particular design that you've seen that you like, we can build that for you. And we also have several standard floor plans to choose from as well. So if you just want something um, that we've already designed, mm -hmm. you can choose that. So of course that's going to be the lowest price option. Yeah, yeah. And the more custom you do, the more yeah. it adds to the price. But yeah, you know, we can do just about everything. So she brought you a bunch of stuff that she really likes, and then you just designed the house. That's right. That yeah. is so amazing. That's so impressive. Thank you. Yeah, I really like this house. And Thank according you. to all, all the visitors today, they love this house. Yeah, yeah. We, we've been getting great feedback on the south. Yeah. Everybody loves all the custom woodwork in here. Yeah, yeah. So to me, Peter is like the tiny house master. Yeah. My goal. <laughs> yeah, you, you already are. Um, okay. So my, I think my next question is, um, how long does it take to build a house? So a, a house like this typically takes about three months from the time you order to the time of delivery. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got to, you know, that includes from the time you order. You know, we got to order the trailer um, and you know, build the shell and then finish everything out. So all that, all that time takes about three months. Three months. Okay. That's not too long. No. Yeah. It's not too bad. So you can get the house of your dreams in three months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, so where can you contact me? Uh, you can reach us through our website indigoRiverTiny.com um, or uh, by email indigoRiverTiny at gmail.com. Those are the best ways to reach us. Mm -hmm. Right, and we're located in Garland, 209 Austin Street, Garland, Texas, 75040. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, thank you for the tour, Peter. That's my pleasure. Yeah, I love this house. I really, I hope, I really wish this house was mine. Well, we'll yeah. be glad to build one for you. Thank Thanks you. for coming out I'll today. I'm going to start collecting stuff and then just bring it over to the show. No problem. <laughs> Take care. Thank you. <laughs>